With the newest England friendlies coming up, Gareth Southgate has decided to call up Jared Branthwaite with his first ever England cap. With the Everton defender being colossal this season, a lot of big clubs in Europe want to sign his signature this summer. But why is everyone going crazy about this player and how has he just got his first England cap? Well, let's get into it. So Branthwaite has actually been progressing very well over the last few years. He had a very successful loan period at PSV last year and now he's come back to Everton and been a starter centre-back this season, playing nearly almost every Every game. In fact, in the Premier League, he's actually played the third amount of most minutes for someone under 21, being behind Sobrani and James Trafford, establishing himself under a Sean Dice tight defence. And Everton's defence has been good this season. They conceded the fourth least amount of goals sitting at 39. I haven't expected was conceded at the sixth best in the league. Now, first of all, let's go through what he's amazing at. Now, he's six foot five, he's a very tall guy, and not surprisingly, he's very good at aerial duels. He's also very good at ground duels well and has won around 70% of his duels this season with only a couple of centre-backs in the Premier League consistently actually having a better rate than him. This aerial supremacy allows him and his centre-back partner Tarkovsky to dominate at Everton's defensive set pieces and they're very good at defending from these positions and this is why they don't concede many goals and in fact this has actually happened so much that a lot of teams when they play Everton actually don't bother crossing the ball in anymore. A lot of teams try and take their corners short like Arsenal did to obviously win at Goodison Park early earlier in the season or they just quite frankly stop putting crosses into the box because of the stature of the two defenders in there and the fact they win 70% of their headers. With defenders and specifically defenders that play for certain clubs you have to identify them in different ways like Branfate for example he plays for Everton who don't get any of the ball in pretty much all their games and actually sits second for lowest in the division of possession per game sitting at around 38%. This means they're always going to be much better at getting tackles in and being more aggressive than actually having passing stats because they simply don't see much of the ball and this also means that people like Branthwaite are going to be a bit boosted from these stats through jewels tackles and blocks because they're obviously going to have to do a lot more than say someone at like Arsenal would have to however Branthwaite has still been insane this season he's one of the only players to have won over 50 aerial jewels make 25 interceptions and complete 25 tackles and also make 20 blocks with one of the others also being his teammate Tarkovsky this means that him and Tarkovsky are getting around and making sure that they are quite proactive in defending they don't have a lot of the balls they need to be switched on all the time making these decisions count and while Everton do play a low block Branthwaite's pace is very key to this he's very good if they do get over the top of him he'll run him back and being able to get there and he's got brilliant recovery place that deploys deeper but could also be pushed up further on if he was to play for another club and he does have a reading of a game that is excellent he's adept at stepping in front of his marker to make timely challenges and his 1.7 interceptions per 90 is very high among Premier League centre-backs and some of the things that he is really good at is actually being behind the attacker to make sure he's marked them and then when the ball is coming towards him being very proactive and getting in front of him and winning that ball back and now while being a brilliant defender and being very big and being very physical is very important to a lot of teams at the top of the game he's going to have to get better at passing if he wants to be considered because a lot of teams request a lot of their defenders to be able to pass out such as the biggest teams in the Premier League however he has got certainly potential there despite him obviously playing for Everton so you've got a factor in he's not going to have the ball a lot and they're not going to ask for him to do a lot more passing than other teams in the league he does have a lot of technical quality he's got a brilliant control of knocking down the ball and he's actually very composed under pressure and when he was at PSV he had to make a little bit more passes sitting at around 58 passes per game with a completion of 86% which actually ranked in the top 6% for long passes completed this season he is down on 41 passes per night with a completion rate of 79% but obviously Everton that makes sense he is technically a very secure player and I do think there's definitely things he could improve such as his progression with the ball because he doesn't really go for long passes but if a system actually required him to do that I think you'd be able to see it a lot more and he is very good when people are pressing him to actually be composed and going past players we saw this especially against the Arsenal game where he kept making sure that the press didn't affect him and passing the ball off to the midfield with ease which is very encouraging for a young defender now because Everton like also keeping quite compact he's actually got a lot of options he does have a progressive pass over to the other side of the tool and he does try 
try and switch it sometimes to get the team forward. We've seen it a few times this season. So there's definitely a little bit about him from the passing perspective, but you would have to see him at a different team to really get a good perspective. And when he was at PS3, he saw a lot better level than Everton. But certainly with his defensive numbers, you would be happy. Now perspective, this year he's been making around two tackles per game and 1.6 interceptions per game, while also making around four and a half clearances, and he's winning about two and a half aerial duels. This is a very good level for someone, and it shows that he's really putting his body about everywhere he can. The first thing to this is that Bramfoy is an excellent box defender. He has developed under Daishu, obviously requires a lot from his defenders, but every time there's a cross coming in, he is very good at positioning and putting himself in positions to win the header or actually track the marker. Positioning at all times inside his own box is very key for a team that are really fighting against it. This proves a very composed defender back there at his young age. And I think something that's very special about this guy is that he's not necessarily just going to run to the ball all the times, which you may see with younger defenders. He is very good to have that vision to step back and be like okay this is where I need to be to get the block in and often he actually stands in positions to actually get really good blocks in rather than being proactive and going to it because he's got other players that can do that and this is why I think he could work in other teams I think he could work in teams that don't necessarily play from their low blocks and play a bit farther up and be a bit more encouraging because he has a very smart way of looking at things he doesn't need to commit at all times and if they try and go over the top with him he's actually got a lot of pace at his stature to actually run back still it's really good good natural defensive numbers but I could definitely see him being a bit of a fan defend for Tottenham or even being a bit of a Saliba player even though on the ball at the moment he's not as good as them players and something I think specifically a lot of big teams are going to be looking at he's a very good wide defender he's very good at if he is dragged down to the left side or right side he's very good at holding up a marker holding up a winger making sure they don't go past them he's physical enough in the challenge but also smart for when not to do it and when to actually challenge this could be very important if a team wanted to play a three back or a five back and bring Bramfway in as one of them options. He could necessarily see someone like Arsenal users in the future if they want to change their system up mid-game. And this also can help when people are trying to play down the line. He could definitely help the fullbacks. In teams where fullbacks like to go up a lot, you could have him cover that ground and be able to run over to help. This is something we actually see Gabriel do a lot for Arsenal. And he can almost make sure that the wingers are in trouble as well as the fullbacks be in there and give support anywhere on the pitch because he is a very quick player and can get around quite quickly. This and the fact that he's very aggressive in in goal kicks very aggressive from aerial duels obviously he's a very tall guy and very big guy and he uses that to his ability to be able to win brilliant headers from goal kicks and get his team up the ball up the pitch with quick over the top passes especially from his head dual monster like this is very important for your center backs commanding and taking the ball when they need to and at his young age that is very encouraging to see and i think this could be very important for england if someone like harry Maguire can't be playing but no doubt about it all of the things that he has can definitely be improved on and get better his passing is something that i would love to see at another team and he knows that he's got brilliant technical ability so I'm sure it would be developed and learned a lot more at a team that didn't play such a low block. But Everton are going to request a lot for Bramfoy for any team this summer because he is one of their star players and at such a young age at 21 he has really become a class player for that team. Getting called up for England deserved now. Let me know in the comments what you think and where you think he should and if you think he would fit your team. Let me know what you thought about this video if you like and subscribe and if you enjoyed any of my content please go and watch some of my other videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.